Welcome to Feed the Beast Monster, first episode by Alchemist Armadillo. So, this is a mod pack you can get for yourself. Download the Feed the Beast launcher, it's the very first mod uh, pack on there. So, uh, this is just going to be quite a simple playthrough. It might be take quite a while, because uh, it's quite a big mod pack. But, here we go. So, I've started off E in not s such a good place actually Ugh. we've got taint from thorncraft here nasty stuff so I'm going to try and move away from this a bit find some piggies hello piggy ah I hear some sheep okay hopefully there'll be enough for me to beat the sheep to death there we are that's one wool so, always collect wool when you see it, because you need beds, they're just so useful. Uh, I've got like quite a um, simple playstyle. Uh, I like to start on peaceful, do a bit of mining, build a base, uh, and get some food and resources up. So, then I'll go on to easy, uh, medium and hard later on. When I... Uh, have the resources to do so. So, plant some wood to make a crafting table. Ah, you may have noticed that I have these three books in my hands. Uh, this one, Basic Material and Processing, is from Mariculture. Uh, it tells you how to uh, basically make uh, and use Mariculture. So, I um, probably won't be delving into this until quite later on because I really don't understand it all that much. Uh, it's a bit, it's a little bit odd to me. So I'll just, I think I'll just leave this for now. So uh, then we got this next bot mod uh, book. It's just a round, uh, just shoot around. Uh, it's a little update on open blocks and there's this book that tells you all about open blocks so open blocks is quite cool uh, but anyway I am gonna continue with this uh, I think I had a bit of a cave somewhere that's what I usually want to find first I want to find a cave uh, to build either use as a house to hole up, hole up in for the night or actually to use for mining. I'm gonna try and collect. Oh, perfect. So I'm gonna try and get as much wood as I can because I'm not a fan of just going straight into a cave and using it. I like to strip mine. So after I've got a little place set up, actually. This isn't too bad. This looks actually quite like quite a nice place. Apart from the lava. Okay, so we're all gonna build ourselves a wooden pick. Okay, enough for a stone pick and a furnace. So then build the stone pick. Okay. Stone pick. Furnace. Down the furnace, get some iron. Hopefully there's a little bit more than that. Okay, no there isn't. Uh, let's just grab a bit of this. This is exactly the same as normal cobblestone, but this um, geostrata, I don't even know whether it does anything else okay it's actually the stuff that adds these crystals um, okay so it's a little bit different than what I thought in the first place okay so it adds lots of different types of cobblestone you can find these crystals underground it's actually quite a useful mod I just want a little bit more iron 
so we can get myself up to the level of an iron pick. Come on, there's got to be a little bit more down here. Doesn't look like it, which is really annoying. Where could it be? Um, oh, there's some. I'll just nerd pole up there. Uh, then let's get up there. And then hopefully this will be enough for my iron pick. After this, oh, is that? If that's gems, I'm going to be the luckiest person alive. Gems are basically the uh, next tier of um, yeah, it's periodots. I'm not sure whether there's enough here. There's only two, so no, there's not enough there. But still, that's really lucky. Let's get back up. We have we found any coal yet? I can't actually see any. I'm gonna smelt up three of these. Throw in that. Make myself a double chest. And need two of these. Actually, something I forgot to do. Grab this. There we are. This is a little bit better because it keeps hold of your items. You can leave them in there. It's a lot easier to use. Okay, I'm up to iron level now. Uh, actually, I've to smell about three more. Okay. Um. Weird. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna collect a lot of wood because I'm gonna instantly go into with the strip mining which means lots of ladders so I'll be back in a second hello uh, and welcome back as you can see I've built myself a little hu wooden hut still in sort of work in progress but I'm sure uh, take give and take a little bit it's, almost, it's basically done uh, we've gone down into the mines collecting a few base resources so next thing I want to get into is thermal expansion which is probably one of the first mods you want to get into uh, and the, probably the first machine or the first thing you actually want to get is not from thermal expansion it's a generator um, let's have a look see if we've got one generator okay here we are so I think I want to get a furnace generator uh, you can get a survivalist generator, which is like the cheapest, but it doesn't make much energy. So I'm going to make a furnace generator. For that, I want to be as conservative of my as my materials as possible. Unfortunately, at the moment, I can't do that because I don't have enough of this. But anyway, so I need an iron block, nine, and then five of these and then um, I'll have enough. I also need two redstone uh, and a furnace. So we need, let's use up a bit of this crazy rock. This rock can be used for all the same things that um, normal cobblestone can be used for. Let's put that in there. Drag that and then let's smelt this up. Uh, I'm going to need two of these. Let's put that in. Okay. So while we're waiting for that to smelt, let's actually put two more iron in there just to make sure we don't we're not wasting coal. 
Next we want some stuff from Thermal Expansion now. So, I want to double my ores. And you probably do want to as well. So for that, you want to use a pulverizer. It looks quite complex, but it's actually pretty easy. Piston, it's just this. So, and then machine frame, just a bit of glass. And the uh, copper. Copper gears are pretty easy to do too. Uh, oh, that was the wrong one. And this is just a bit of gold and some redstone. Also, I want a redstone furnace. Same as a furnace, runs a bit faster. Um, and doesn't use coal, it uses energy. So I want to make this as well. So I'll be back once I've gathered the resources for them. Okay, welcome back. Um, just waiting for the last little bits to smelt up. And then we can make ourselves a pirate pulverizer. As you can see, I've already made the redstone furnace. Uh, I'll show you quickly the um, recipe. Got some bricks here, some redstone, copper gear is made with copper uh, and a stone gear or if you have the iron you can do this, you can just use it, copper and an iron ingot. Um, so there's machine frame, there's gold in the middle, some glass around the sides and then some uh, iron around the other sides. Um, and then also there's this, the redstone reception coil, a gold ingot and two redstone. So pretty simple. Just going to get my last copper gear here. Okay. And then we built ourselves a pulverizer. I also, if, you go, if we go down here quickly, uh, built the furnace generator so we can put coal or wood or something in there and uh, when we hook it up to these it'll power so what I want to show you if I just quickly turn NAI off uh, there we are okay so it'd be a bit easier to see now if I go into the configuration look at these so these are each the side of this block uh, I'm pretty sure this is the top. This is the bottom. We have a look. Yep. This is the back, around there, and these are the other sides. So, okay, everybody. Hello, welcome back to uh, my let's play. Uh, I've just uh, attached the. Uh, furnace generator down here to my machines. Uh, this is leadstone energy conduit, pretty simple to make if we just have a look at the recipe here. Two pieces of lead, some redstone and a cut and some glass. So as this is hooked up it will uh, take all the power, put it into the pulverizer and uh, then we can double our walls. So if I just uh, hopefully I'm just going to have a look for something that might be useful. That one doesn't do it. I just want to show you, uh, everybody, something. Does this not... Can I not put this into the... Uh, oh, that would suck. If I... If I can't, I... Well, I can't. Okay. Uh, I don't... I definitely know I can do this one. Yeah, okay. So... By smashing lead ore, you will get the pulverized lead, and you have a 10% chance to get pulverized silver. So that shows why it's a lot better to pulverize, because one, you're doubling your ores, and two, I actually, when I was uh, macerate or pulverizing some copper, I got a gold dust, which is pretty lucky. So I'm just going to put this in. So with um, pulverizers and redstone furnaces, the more power they have to run, the quicker they will run. Uh, I think I just want to show the configuration. This is the input, so I put the input to the top, and this is the output, so it's outputting into the redstone furnace. Input here, output here. So what I'm actually going to do is 
I don't actually have any wood. So if I had some wood, I'm sure I'll grow, grab some now. I won't need much. If I got an axe, I don't think I bothered making an axe. So I'm just gonna grab enough to make a double chest. It shouldn't take too long. Two, two more, then we can make a double chest. And then we can put that next to the furnace. If we make the double chest. Here we are. Like that. If we put this next to the furnace, it will output everything it has in it into here. Which I love because look actually, look, we got a silver from doing all that, so it was worth it. So uh this is probably gonna be the wrap up of the first episode. I hope everyone's enjoyed. Uh, if you could just hit that like button, slap that subscribe, that would be really nice. I would, it would like boost this channel up. I would love it to see if this channel could get uh, any bigger than it is already, which is tiny. Anything. If you could just like give me a hand getting my channel up a bit, I would really appreciate it. But this is my very first video, and this is Alchemist Armadillo signing off. See you later.